Alright guys, we're going to start all over. I didn't film myself tying two jigs and then when I cut the camera off, it wouldn't cut off. And I'm using a, the new camera, it's a 10. And the second time it's done that to me, done it to me. And I'm in, you know, people say it's overheating. I'm in the basement, it's cool down here. It's probably, it's probably luck if it's in the 60s. Uh, there's no reason for it to do that. But GoPros have a mind of their own, if anybody you know. I know I was fishing with Sam uh, on the Eno River, and he's done that. And he looked at me and said, my camera's locked up. I said, been there. <laughs> been there. So, and I'm not the only one, and I've talked to other GoPro people or other YouTubers and have done the same thing. Now, what I'm doing is I cut a piece of yellow right here. Okay. I'm trying to show you all without... I'm trying to keep it as close as I can, and I'm cutting it off on a, on a plate. You can see where I've been cutting it. Oops, I dumped it off. Now, I'm trying to show you all. I got a lid here that I'm cutting it off on, all the extra. So I ain't cutting it off on my floor, and I'm not cutting it off on my table. All right, so what I'm doing, let me get, get out of y'all's way again. I may need to move some of this stuff out of my way. So I done moved all this stuff here showing y'all things, and I got to start all over. All right, here we go. There's my piece of yellow. All right. I still think I'm too long. You can make it too long very easy, guys. It's not too hard to get it too long. And I do it in little pieces. I add a piece, okay? Now, instead of trying to cut a bunch at one time, I cut a little bit at a time and add and build it. I build it up. Okay? I build my yellow up like that, I'm cutting it off. All right, now this time it's going to go on this side, which is making it tough for y'all to see. All right. I think I need just a little bit more. You can get too much. There's, there's, there is a thing as having too much. Let me get a place here where I can get a... There you go. Believe me or not, uh, you're probably better off less sometimes is better than, than having too much of too much hair. You can get it too thick, you can lose some of your action. Okay. All right. Now, we're going to add on the bottom. Now, we're going to do banana blue. My blue is in craft fur. Yep. Yeah. So, I'm going to drop it down here in front of me on my workbench. And I'm going to grab a big old hunk of craft fur off on this thing. And pull it all up pretty and straight. And I'm going to whack it off. Just like this right here. All right, then I'm going to trim it the same way. Get where I think the length I want it. That's about right. I might just take a touch more off of it. All right, and that goes on the bottom. This is the blue for the belly. So here we go. I'm going to try to keep it in place. Loose lap, then, a, then tight ones. Okay. Craft fur has a different action to it than the... Than the then the uh, bucktail does. Okay. Let's see how, okay. When it pulls down and gets wet, it'll pull down like this. I just kind of look, I'm still kind of eyeballing the yellow and the, how much I got here. All right. Lock it down, Dennis. Pull it tight. Now, I'm going to put Chartreuse Flashaboo in this. Okay. Here we go. Now, if y'all watch Wildlife Adventures, Sam, all right, I'm going to double this. His brother, on the last video I think he put out, I think it was the last one anyway, the last couple, was fishing. I got to hold on to it. This is the hardest part for me, guys, right here. My old hands don't work as good as they should. All right. Now, what I'm going to do before I go getting crazy, I'm going to put some of this fingernail polish on it. This is just clear, and guys, use clear or use hardener, and uh, it will lock it down. I'm going to tell you, when it's when you get done, now, whip it tool. I'm not the best with this, but here we go. Sometimes I, <laughs> sometimes I have to start to start over. 
Alright, I'm going to do that twice. Alright, when you hook it on this little hook and you put it back on this bend and you make a triangle go around it, guys, it makes a knot for you. And I don't cut mine real short. I'll even better. Just a touch. Bam. Alright, now. Now I'm going to cut. I'm going to cut this loop open where I doubled it. I'm cutting this, I'm cutting off the flasher boo. And that light, that flasher boo looks like it's got a little looks a little bit of yellowish orange tint to it, doesn't it? Can y'all see that? There you go. Yeah, isn't that pretty? And so when it gets wet, it'll pull down like this, guys. And what it does, what a hair dig jig does, is when you move it in the water, it pulsates like this. Yep. I'd probably exaggerate a little bit, but it goes like this. That's what makes it look real to fish. I know a lot of y'all going like, why would a fish bite that? That's why he bites it, guys, because it moves in the water. Every time you stop it, the water's flowing through it, it's moving, okay? Yep. All right. The reason I cut the camera off to start again was, as I said, I filmed this whole process just a minute ago, and I made two jigs, and the wouldn't, camera wouldn't cut off. And when the camera doesn't cut off, you lose all that, guys. You lose everything that you've done. Uh, Sam and I was fishing together in the Eno River, and his camera done that. And I think it was a 9. I'm using a 10. And this is a new camera. I've only used it. Well, I've used it quite a bit. I carry it on the boat with me, and I've used it uh, putting it in a holder, trying to do run two cameras at one time. And I've been using it in the last videos. The last few videos I made uh, here at Tyne Jigs, I've been using the 10. It works good for that. And I've been using it in my chesty. I think I used it when I was with Sam. I don't remember now. On the Eno River. I used a 10. But I've been using it. I had to... Uh, my son came down Thanksgiving because I had trouble editing. The reason I've been using it as much, I have trouble editing with it. I didn't want to load in my software right. And my son said, Dad, I think the camera's not set up right. <clears throat> so when he came down for Thanksgiving, he went over the camera and reset it. And it's been doing fine since then. But... Uh, for some reason, it's locked up on me a few times. And that, that's what don't make sense. They claim that it's overheating. And I, you know, the battery gets hot. You let, it, you, know, you let it run, the battery gets hot. Maybe that's, maybe that's the overheating part. It's not hot in my basement. I've got a flannel shirt on and I'm not hot. <laughs> All right. Now, usually I have my wood stove going and that'd be a different story, but I can't use the wood stove right now. My wife and I was just talking about that this morning. It's been nice here, guys. We've been in the 50s all week. Actually, it was 60 yesterday. Uh, it's been unusual warm. The cold will get back in the 50s tomorrow. That's our winter time. Our winter's here, Virginia and Oklahoma border. We run into around 50. And February's our coldest month. Late Jan Let's say like January, February. It's going to get colder on us. Now, we're going to put a pink belly on this one. All right, so I'm going to grab me a piece of pink here. And I want a good bit. I don't want a ton. Eh, maybe just a touch more than that. All right, I'm going to whack it off here. Okay, same way. I'm going to kind of measure it and whack it off what I think is going to be the length I want it. Oops, hit the camera with my tool, with my scissors. Trying to work around the camera. Sorry, guys, if I made a noise there. That's this part of it when you're trying to work around a camera. So I've tried different things in my workbench. It'd be nicer if I could get it to the left or the right of them. If I tried it, I can't get the angle I want. Now, this one I'm going to use UV. Okay. Can y'all see how it's doing? Yeah. What do you think of that? This is just called UV uh, Flash. It's going to add a little UV, UV light to it. I think it'd be great with this uh, pink all right, it's almost got a purple look to it, doesn't it? All right, I'm going to flip this thing over, what I usually do, and I did in that time. Make it easier, because I use the eye of that hook, all right? There you go. That's fine, I got it. All right, I can, I can do this. This is the hardest part for me, getting that flash of where I want it. That's why I use the eye of that hook to help me. All right, now I can let go of it. All right, now before I finish this thing off, I'll do the same thing. But I, I can tell you from talking to other YouTubers and people that use GoPros, 
They have a mind of their own and they will lock up like that sometimes and will not cut off. You got to pull the battery out to get it cut off. The cutoff switch won't even work. Nothing works. And to get it to work, you got to take and pull the battery out of the camera. When you do that, it doesn't save what you recorded. That's right. That's why we're here doing this again. So, and like I say, everybody I've ever talked to has had trouble with it. Different brands, different models. You think through time, as long as they've been making GoPros, they would get uh, fix that issue, right? And they have updates and stuff, and the, but they have never fixed, as far as I know, they have never fixed that issue. All right, let's get this out here. All right, again, there's two there's long, long uh, pieces right here from the flash reveal I'm going to cut off. One's, here's the double one. All right, and you can let them stick out a little further, but I like them about, I like, I'm going to trim it again here off camera. I like them, uh, I don't like them sticking out past the hair much. Let's see what I'm doing here now. I'm getting, I don't want to cut the hair. All right. There you go. So we've tied the pink. Uh, I got two blue ones here. We tied a pink and a blue on camera. Okay. So far. All right. Now I'm gonna tie. I'm gonna tie shoreline. Yep. There's my shoreline. We had we had the uh, shoreline and we had what other color do we have? We had light pink, the pink lady color, and we had chartreuse. So I've got some chartreuse right here. We're gonna tie one with the chartreuse belly. Okay, and the, the light pink had the black tail, right? Uh, Sid has been fishing with it. He put a picture on Facebook. If y'all never checked it out, my Facebook. He put a picture on there of a nice crappy over two pounds. He caught with the banana back, light pink, black tail. And uh, Sam's been catching some I haven't fished that one yet, I don't think. I don't remember. Yeah, I did. That's the guys, I have to think about stuff again. <laughs> Here lately, guys, I'll tell you, it's just hard to keep up everything. But yeah, I think I did one of my videos. I think I put that in there. I edit those videos y'all been watching. I made those the week of Thanksgiving. So, yeah, it's been like six weeks, so I got to think about what I've what I done. The video I watched this past Wednesday I made in May, and I've got two more old ones you're going to see next week because I haven't get on the water. Uh, it's going to be two more weeks before I get on the water with Sam, so then we'll hopefully that day I'll, may, I'll make a video or two for y'all on Wednesday, and I did make a port of catch, right? Yep, got a lot to do. All right, guys, I'll get back with you here shortly. All right, folks, I didn't show y'all banana pepper. Got to have a white belly, banana uh, chartreuse, banana pink, banana shoreline, banana blue. There you go. What y'all think? All right, guys, I tied two of each color because somebody's going to win one of each color. And I used a couple different heads. I'm getting a little short on jig heads. You see, I've got a few here scattered. Get a little short on good ones. Some of these have been in my tackle box for a while and bouncing around in my tackle box and got some of the paint knocked off of them. But that's all I have that has good size hooks on it for that. Because usually I tie with a, a, I tie on a four, so I tie a lot of small hair jigs too that are very small. Uh, with size four hooks and stuff like that. All these are nice big two odd hooks. So I figured that would most what most of you are, are using. And you can vertical jig with these or you can cast them. All right, guys, y'all know the routine. Put your number down 1 through 400. I start at 10. You know why? Because it, it could give us the number 2. If you got to, if you put down 10, you got a chance to win. You can't go over the number. It's the only rule I have. If, if, the gives, if you put down 200 and it gives us 199, the random number draw, you can't win. That separates the winners from the losers. Been doing that since the beginning for three years now. Have no problem. You know what the rules are, so there you go. Put your number down. You must be a subscriber. If it's black under this video, if that subscribe button's black, you're not a subscriber, guys. And it, it, it does list me all the subscribers. If I want to go and check it out, I can go and check you out. So make sure you subscribe. It's a subscriber giveaway or a subscriber to Porter Cash when I do these. I load these on Sundays. On Wednesday nights at, after 5, at 5 o'clock, I start setting my equipment up. I video this, and I load the winner's video on Thursday morning of who won. And I will comment to you Wednesday night, probably after I get all the editing done and everything, comment to you and say, hey, you won this week. Send me your address. If you've ordered from me in the last two months, it's not hard for me to find your address. If you have not ordered from me in the last couple uh, months, I, I have to look through a lot of pages to find them, guys. So there you go. Also, 
Let me add this. Um, if uh, some of y'all's guys, your name's not in your, your title. Some of y'all, Wildcat54. So I have no idea who you are. I have no idea. So you have to email me, okay? Some of you got your name in your title. You know, some of you said, some of you say Sam Smith. So I know who you are. But some of you, I have no idea what your name, real name is or your full name. So you need to email me and say, hey, I won this week. I will mail it out to you. Guys, the mail has been slow. It's getting better. We had Christmas cards come in this week. Yep, we had Christmas cards come in Wednesday, Thursday from people. So, we, you know, the mail is very slow. One guy got his package on the 26th, I think. It says it. I've been watching it for him. I, he, I mailed it to him on the 9th of December. He got it on the 26th of December, on the 27th, yeah. That's how slow it's been. And these post offices are backed up, all the Christmas gifts, all the Amazon boxes. Yeah, y'all can understand that, because I'm asking y'all to get some Amazon boxes, too. All right, guys, Dennis, Fish Lake Country. Good luck to everybody. See y'all on the draw night, which is Wednesday. See ya.